All right, all right. <clears throat> what time is it? 7.33 Eastern time. Just gonna get settled here slowly. I'll wait for some people to come in. This is Richard Bort, a.k.a. Rab. We'll be doing a little video tonight on uh, some of the best vegetables to juice. So we'll get started in a few minutes. Just uh, left the garden. You guys might have seen some pictures. Garden's been really good today. Some very nice hot peppers. Got uh, some sweet potatoes, some green peppers, some tomatoes. I mean, the garden is producing cucumbers. Got the six cucumbers. The garden has been producing like mad uh, recently. I, I think it's because of the nice mix of the rain and the sun we've been getting the last few weeks. It's just getting me at the, what it needs to uh, do its thing. So, unfortunately, I kind of feel that summer is coming to an end. Yeah. It's my favorite season, but hey, you know, we do have four, so got to wait till we get the next one. But uh, we did have a good summer so far. I think the, and the garden this year has been pretty good. Last year was not as great. I'm kind of telling you, uh, we had a lot of rain last year. They, it, it was not as sunny. Um, we had a lot, a lot of troubles with uh, most of our vegetables, I think, last year. Tomatoes were good. Uh, some of the green peppers, but everything else, uh, carrots, uh, peas, uh, all, uh, cucumbers, nothing was really doing its thing last year. This year is a much, much better yield, so uh, very much liking what we're seeing this year. So the top 10 vegetables to juice, and, and this is my appreciation of it. And I, I, read, the, I read comments on uh, some of the blogs of, of uh, juice gurus and things like that, uh, where they talk about uh, uh, their experience with juices, and and they come up with pretty much the same the same numbers as I have. Some have twelve, some have fifteen, some have five, uh, whatever. I, I'll go with ten. I like that number, ten. Uh, so we're gonna go with the ten. And, and the, the reason why I say these ten vegetables are the best for juicing is for multiple reasons. Uh, one. Uh, the cost. It's it, they're low cost vegetables. They're not the ones that are going to cost you an arm and a leg. Um, and uh, secondly, is the yield you're going to get from it. So if uh, if you're juicing with a, a slow juicer, like I I use a tri uh, three star. There's so many good ones out there. There's the Champion. There's the Angel. There's a there's so many uh, other good makes that are pretty good. So uh, but if you are looking for a juicer, you want to get some tips and all that. Feel free to reach out to me. Uh, my personal message and I'll, I'll give you my feedback um, I've had a few so I, I can tell you my my thoughts on them there's pros and cons with all models uh, and really it all depends on how much you want to spend where you're at in your in your juicing journey because uh, you don't want to uh, maybe you know, invest way too much money in there hi Jill nice to see you um, so um, yeah so if, if you're looking at buying a juicer you're not sure you want some advice and things like that uh, drop me a line and uh, and uh, and I'll give you some uh, some info. I'll, I'll private message you and, uh, and I'll help you out. Uh, no cost. <laughs> yeah, I do this uh, for free. Um, so yeah. So the the uh, the cost of the vegetables, the yield you're gonna get out of it. So how much of the liquid nutrients are you gonna get out of those vegetables when you juice them? So when when you put them to your juicer. How much of the goodness are you going to get out of it? And then the pulp, the dry pulp, you, you can put in your garden, do cookies for your dog, do whatever you want with it. Uh, you can do broth and, and, and so forth. Um, so those are the two things that I, I look forward to. And then, of course, is the nutritional content. Uh, so a lot of these vegetables I'm going to talk to you about have a very high uh, nutritional content, either from a mineral aspect, from a vitamin aspect, and and that's what really feeds you, right? I think as a Jay Cordish used to say, it's the juice within the fiber that feeds you, because that's what's the power. That's the power of juicing, right? The power of juicing is that when you take a, a fresh vegetable and you pour them through the juicer, uh, even if you eat it right now, I would not eat this hot pepper like right now, <laughs> just like that. Uh, I'll be fuming. Uh, but when you eat a, a, a vegetable like that, what happened is that when you're masticating and you're digesting it, what you're doing is you're pulling all the nutrients from the fiber within this vegetable. 
And that goes into your bloodstream. That goes into your body. That's what fills your trillion cells. That's what cleans up your body. That's what makes you alive. That's what feeds you, right? That's what gives you the real hope for feeling alive. When you're eating a fruit and vegetable that's raw and fresh, that's why you feel good. When you eat, you eat something that's dead, you'll feel full. And very likely, you won't feel like running <laughs> right away. You'll feel more like a couch potato. Uh, so uh, the fiber itself is good for digestion. What it is, it goes through your track, and it just grabs whatever's there, the crap, and it pulls it out, right? That's what the fiber is for. The, the core fiber, the big fiber, has only one mission. The mission is to clean you out, right? Uh, the microfiber within your vegetables and your fruit, that microfiber goes into your, your bloodstream, goes into your cell, feeds and feeds and helps rebuild your arteries and your nerves and things like that. Um, but that, so it is the juice within the fiber that feeds you. So when I talk about those tense vegetables, well, I'm gonna, and I will put them down in the description after this video, um, when I put those, those 10 vegetables there, you know that they have a very high level of nutritional content. So uh, I'm not saying take those 10 and make a juice with these 10 because that's a lot of stuff to put in a juice. But uh, anytime you're juicing and you're mixing those vegetables with a fruit or two, I think you have a very like a very nice combo. A lot of people like uh, you know, fresh made recipes that you can find online and things like that. It's all good if you want some, I can give you some as well. Uh, but at the same time, when you're starting to juice, you may want to experiment. You may want to look what you have available in your house. And sometimes I've done that. No, I've been going, I go to the fridge. I go, okay, this is what I got right now. I've got one of this, one of that. Can I make a juice with that? Yeah, I can. <laughs> Get it done. Uh, so pretty easy to, to juice. It's not really rocket science, right? It's, it's the, and the logic behind it, like I always say, is very basic. The, the goal is always on a daily basis, have at least one juice, where 70 to 80% of that juice is vegetable, 20% is fruit and the goal is to do that at least once a day because you want to put more of the good in your body in a daily basis So you can do and enjoy and do the things now if now you want to have a pizza and a beer because you're going out with the buddies Do it as long as you've done good during the day You're not depriving your body over and over and over again And then it gets ill and it starts breaking down and then it the, you know, going up the hill again It's gonna be pretty damn hard uh, so it's about making sure we do little things on a daily basis and keep us on the right path. So the 10 vegetables, there we go. Countdown, number one, the cucumber. Yes, the cucumber is one of the best ones. Very high content of water, right? Uh, I think, is it 92? I think 92% of the cucumber is water. Uh, our body is 80% water, so guess what? Having something that's very high content water, but this is not just water like water you drink usually. This is water that's full of nutrients. It's full of vitamins, right? So it feeds your trillion cells when you consume it. So it's very, very high. Second one, one of my favorites, carrots. Uh, carrots, actually, was it Jake Cordish? Again, I'm going to quote Jake Cordish quite a lot because uh, there's, there's three guys that I follow, that I followed for the last five years that I found from feeding your brain, right? Understanding what it is that you're juicing and what are the benefits of juicing one thing over another. Um, there's three top guys that I find, that, and you can Google them, you can YouTube them, you can find that information out there. It's free. They have, some of it, they have books, they have, they have everything, but a lot of it is free. Uh, Jay Cordage, you know, the father of juicing. Uh, he's the, the first guy that got me into juicing 30 years ago, but I was doing it for the wrong reason. I was doing it wrong. I was juicing oranges. For breakfast yep yeah I wasn't getting it by then <laughs> and then uh, the second one I that really got me on the right track after I had my art issues in 2011 is uh, Joe Cross yeah uh, Joe Cross with the two movies a fat sick and nearly dead one and two um, a lot of good material online and just like Jake Cordish he will tell you exactly why this is good for you why is this vegetable good for you what's in it what is it going to do for you? What kind of effect is it going to do to feed you and clean you? It will tell you that. So I'm not a doctor. I'm not a nutritionist. I, I, I cannot retain all of the greatness of all these vegetables. I go and Google it. I understand it. And then you move forward. The third person that I find is a really good source is Jason Vail. Uh, Jason, uh, the, the, the juice master. <laughs> so they all have very well titles. Uh, so... Uh, yeah, so the juice master, Jason Vial. Jason uh, did a movie called uh, Super Juice Me. You can get it online for free as well. 
at www.superjuiceme.com. I don't get paid for this. This is all free, guys. Go ahead and Google it and find it. Uh, and I urge you to do that. I urge you to really juice your mind. Understand why juicing is good for you. Understand what's going to happen when you start juicing. And so there are some side effects of that, right? When you put more of the good in, the bad is going to get out. And when the bad goes out, it doesn't go silently. The bad goes out sometimes screaming and kicking. And you'll feel like shit <laughs> for a few days. And uh, But it's, it's worth it, right? Because if you've been abusing your body for many, many years, well, likely it's going to take a few days of pain for us to, to, to get you back on the right track. So uh, that's a good thing. So cucumber number one, number two, carrots. Carrots, uh, Jay Cordish was uh, said that at one point that the molecular shape and the way it, it's designed, it's very close to the, to the way our blood cells are designed. So there, there's, there's a symmetry there that's very close. And uh, that, that might be the reason why the, uh, you know, he, he, he was so, so much into taking carrot apple and carrot oranges. And carrot was a, one of the base vegetables for most of his juice. So... Uh, so carrots very high, very high yield, very good for you. Uh, broccoli. Now broccoli is a really funny one because broccoli. Uh, most of the people, when you think about broccoli, they talk about, they think about cutting, cutting the stem, take the tree part, put that into a pan, and you now fry it up and do something with it and boil it and uh, whatever, steam it. Um, the stem when you're juicing, the stem, that is amazing. That is that is a nugget of minerals and vitamins. And that's one thing that you'll discover is when you start juicing, a lot of time you'll discover that most of the highest content of nutrients is in what usually you throw away. A lot of times it's in the peel. A lot of times it's in the stem. You now we take a, and one of the next one we have on the list here is kale. You know, the stem of the kale. Most of the time you take the leaves out and you make kale chips, you'll, you, kale salad, you'll, 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 you'll fry kale, you'll, you'll steam kale, but you'll take away the stem and throw away the stem. The stem is one of your highest content of vitamins and nutrients, but that's what you throw away. Isn't that crazy? I mean, that's one thing I realized when I started juicing is, A, I'm using almost 99% of this baby, right? When I juice it, I can get it almost all of it. When I eat it, I, I cut it up, I throw the... I, I throw this part, I'll throw the inside, I'll throw the seeds out, I'll throw the... No, you throw away so much of it, right? I mean, at least if you throw it in a compost, it's going to be good. It's good for your earth and it's good for your garden, wherever you put it and things like that. But that's one thing when you're juicing is that you're using all of it. So broccoli, the stem. So now if you're juicing once a day, you're, you're, bu you're buying a, 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 a bushel of broccoli, I think they call it. Uh, Cut off the stem, use the stem, get all, all the good vitamins and nutrients out of that. Keep the tree part so when you're doing a dinner at night and you want to steam it or boil, or boil it or fry it, whatever, uh, so you're using the whole vegetable. So from a, a cost perspective, yeah, it may cost a bit more for a piece of broccoli, but you're using all of it. You're not just using a part of it and throwing out the best part. Eh. Uh, so that's a good thing. Sweet potato, uh, that's another really good one. The sweet potato. Uh, compared to the regular potatoes, this bad boy is going to feed you. It's not just going to fill you. This bad boy is going to feed you. There's so much good vitamins in sweet potato. It's got a, a vitamin A, B6, vitamin C, very high in vitamin C. No, not an orange. It's a potato, but very high in vitamin C. Sweet potatoes are great. Uh, to make chips with, they're great to cook with. You, know, you can fry them and things like that. You can just steam them as well. Uh, but you can also juice them. And there's a lot of good juice that comes out with the, with for me uh, sweet potato. It's a very good one there. Uh, cabbage. Now, cabbage is one that you. It's very good. No, don't get me wrong. Uh, I I would highly recommend that you look for recipes in, in, uh, that includes cabbage because cabbage cannot be mixed with anything. Uh, there's some things that they don't they don't connect well with. And um, the good thing about cabbage oil is you, if you have any kind of stomach issues, uh, digestive issues, um, you know, Crohn's disease and things like that, uh, there's a lot of studies and there's a lot of, of um, uh, how you say that, comments and, and experience that people have shared where the cabbage juice uh, mixed with a few other things has been tremendous. And actually, if you look at the superjuiceme.com documentary by Jason Vale, 
there, there is one fellow, I don't remember his name now, but who had, had tremendous painful uh, you know, stomach issues. And even when he started juicing with everybody else there, he's the one that I think that was having uh, the, the, the least of a positive effect. I think they were, he was up to day four, day five, and he was, he was in a lot of pain. And things were not moving for him. And what, what got them back on track is the cabbage juice. The cabbage juice is what really uh, made him whole again. And it's, it's something I think is, there's a testimonial by him at the end of the video that the way he says, it's part of my routine now, my daily, my weekly uh, regimen. Is that I, I cannot go without it because that's what has, has really helped him you know, keep that in control. So very, very good juice with the cabbage. Celery, very high in fi fiber, so I put that out but very high in vitamins and nutrients, um, a, a high content of water as well. And what's good about these, these types of veg vegetables when they have a high content of water like celery and cucumbers is that that is going to make you a, a nice big glass of juice. It's sort of something that's really small, right? So whenever you, you add the cucumber and celery to your juice, you're going to get a lot of yield out of it. Uh, kale, my favorite, uh, the, the king kale. Uh, the kale, kale is a vitamin K, vitamin C, um, it, it's, it's such one of the best uh, best green vegetables and you'll notice that a lot of the vegetables I'm talking about have one color in particular right uh, the, the, the green are predominant and the reason why the green are predominant is because they're the one that will feed you the most now you still need the other colors right your body needs the nutrients from all types of vegetables uh, but what you're gonna get from the green vegetables the family of greens are, is, is the highest count that you're going to get. It, 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 amazing, just amazing. Um, Swiss chard, very high on the list. So kale, Swiss chard, spinach. So those three, those three are the, the bad boys of the green family, right? So so Swiss chard, spinach, kale, the bad boys of the green family. Put these guys in your juice, and and you're going to get the result. Uh, chlorophyll. Uh, it just it, you no, know, you drain that 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 green glass, and it just you feel alive. You know, some people say I need my coffee to kick in in the morning so I can wake up. Try a green juice. Trust me, you'll wake up. You know, you'll go bing, pretty damn fast. So we're sorry they said damn again. Shouldn't do that. I'm trying to teach myself to to say that, but I'm working on it. Um, wheatgrass. So wheatgrass is a taste to be acquired. <laughs> Now there's two ways of doing wheatgrass. Just hold on here. So wheatgrass, you can buy. Uh, you can buy it at Whole Foods or any kind of a health store. Usually they, they grow it. And a lot of the juice bars uh, 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 around North America and UK. Uh, I know in Australia they have some as well. Um, a lot of the juice bars will have a tray of fresh wheatgrass. And they can cut it up and juice it and make you a, a you no know, wheatgrass shooter. Now, for those of you who've never juiced before, do not start with wheatgrass. <laughs> That's not a place where you want to start. It, it's grass. Guess what? It's going to taste a little bit like mm, apples. No, grass. Yeah, it's going to taste like grass. But it, it's huge in regards to the feeding uh, nutrients it's going to give you. Uh, wheatgrass, I, I mean, the list is this long. It's the smallest piece, right? It's a piece of grass. But that piece of grass has got vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, vitamin B6, selenium, riboflavin, zinc, copper, manganese, uh, calcium, chlorophyll, of course, which is really green. Um, I'm not even looking at the box here. So, so there's two ways of doing it. Uh, what I do is I, I don't have the chance to grow it all the time. Mostly in the winter, of course, it's pretty hard for us to grow it. So what I do is I do buy it in, in powder. And what I do is I'll add a scoop to my smoothie, a scoop to my juice, and I'm just going to mix it in. And I'm still getting the benefit because it's, it's, it's still there. Uh, so that's one way of, of adding it. Uh, if you want to try something new, when you go to a juice bar or whatever, ask for a wheatgrass shooter. Uh, if you're, if you're, it's your first one, get a bottle of water so you can chuck it down afterwards. So, uh, But you will feel the zing i'm alive pretty much right away when you take wheatgrass shots i'm telling you it really wakes you up um your your cells in your body are alive if, if the chlorophyll is just it's just amazing i'm 
losing my words. <laughs> so there you go, guys. Those are the 10 top vegetables to juice. Uh, I will put it down in the description. If you, if there are subjects, there are things you want to, you, you want me to talk about. You no, know, send me an email uh, or uh, send me a private message. Um, if you go to my page, uh, there, there's a rap page on Facebook where if you, you can private mes message me there. If you go to my blog, which I, I just resurrected, it's been dead for years, and I'm trying to bring it up to life again. Um, it's uh, richardabork.com, so it's my name. So richardabork.com, uh, and I'll put that in the description as well. Uh, there, there is some information there you can you can get, and I do send a, send some free stuff to people. If you're looking for my three day juice plan, uh, my free three day juice plan, uh, just private message me, and I'll send it to you uh, for free. And uh, with that, no, like I always say, take control of your health, become more, and I will see you next time. Take care. Ciao.